I actually watched Addicts, the last song of the July 5th Fair of the Well show, at the back of the GA floor uh, with Bob Ezrin. He's a legendary producer of Pink Floyd albums and stuff. And when Addicts ended, I remember I ran to kind of go be backstage to greet the guys. Um, you know, that whole thing was... Uh, sometimes, you know, you have to set the stage no matter what you do, right, you have to do all this work to set the stage, set the table. And then so many uh, things come into play to, that you can't control to dictate how something goes. That could be just a normal night. Right. So a lot of it's weather, but also people's behavior and the band's uh, psyche and how they play. And, you know, sometimes that was the magic of the Grateful Dead, I think. Um, is that you didn't know for sure how it would be. When I mean, you go to see these bands that tour today, they're great, but it's the same set list every night, the same moves every night. And the magic of the different kind of thing, improvisation, that's why I think the jam scene is still so healthy today. Yeah. So people have an inherent, you know, uh, urge to be around magic. You know, and magic happens when you don't really know what's going to happen. Yeah. And so I think Fairly Well was had that because adding Trey to that the elements and the band and in the city of Chicago and how would that go and the venue of Soldier Field and the weather you know and it just everything kind of I remember like the night before the first show just like looking up in your bed like up at the ceiling and being like uh, good luck hope it goes well. <laughs> because it was so big at that point yeah, so many yeah. people so much I couldn't really control it, it. was yeah out there. it was like you know things can happen that you don't control and I'm not sure I hope fans understand that, you know, what you, what we need to do, what we do is like, respond, a lot of it, uh, a great event is the response to things that have gone wrong. Yeah. Right. And how to manage that, and how to like, do your best. Right. And you can't always explain everything to people you wish you could. And, but you, everything we tried to do, whether it was the tickets, and the venues, and the banners, and the city, when everyone was like, ah, ah yeah. you know, you just try to do your best, and it's important also to keep your eye on the, what's really going to matter. No one now talks about any of that. They remember the show. No, nobody remembers the ticket stuff. Nobody yeah, remember, yeah. Event, you remember uh, the, uh, and so when you're in the middle of all that other stuff, it's very easy to uh, get thrown off. Yeah. But that's, you have to remember to stay focused here. Because really, at the end, that's what's important. It's ironic now you hear about these people in politics. Oh, I'm a great businessman and all this. And those guys usually are like, if it's just to make money, they're often doing things that are unscrupulous or, you know, pretty, don't have the vibe that we, you know, the real, I think, threading of the needle is to run something in a good business way and have the good yeah. vibe and have people feel good and have everyone win. Yeah. That's hard.